for two and a half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, and thank you, Mr. Johnson, for giving me some previous time. I want to continue uh, my, my previous statement. Uh, back in the 80s, late 80s and 90s, uh, this was a tough town. It was tough to live here. Crime was really very violent, and as I said earlier, during that period I had the opportunity to work for a victim services agency, providing services for crime victims. And I was also the president of the 34th Precinct Community Council. Uh, and, I, and if that's one thing that I really learned during that, that, those two decades, was that you cannot really simply take, talk about crime without talking about guns. You just can't do it because 80% of the homicides are committed by guns. Now, we're not minimizing the other 20%. They're also equally important. But 80% are committed by guns. This past Easter Sunday, a young man gets shot and killed on 137th Street, not too far where Mr. Alba used to work. Why? A gun. Just this weekend in Alabama, just this weekend, this Saturday, four people shot and killed with what? A gun. A shooter in a Louisville bank kills five people with who? With what? with a gun. The horrific elementary school shooting in Tennessee that left six people killed, including three children. With what? With a gun. Some of my colleagues after that shooting wore their AR-15 pins on their lapels and tie clips. I think mocking the death of those innocent kids. So a gun is the common denominator in eight out of ten Homicides, how can we take that away? We cannot do that. We must continue to fight for common sense gun law. And you know why? I'll ask you all that are here today. You want to find out why guns are not being talked about? Follow the money. Follow the money. Go into each and every one of our campaign accounts and figure out who's getting money from the Air NRA. Just follow the money. That's a, a phrase that's usually used on a common basis here in New York City. Very simple. Yeah. Who is the NRA supporting? Gentlemen, so, gentlemen's time has expired. The, the, the gentleman yields back. The gentleman from uh, South Carolina.